calendar. The encircled numbers 6, 12, 18, 24, and 30 form a number sequence. A number sequence is a list of numbers in which successive terms follow a rule or a pattern. Each number in a sequence is called a term. Patterns and rules will help us to continue a given sequence of numbers, figures, or to fill in the missing numbers or symbols. Example, sequence 3, 6, 9, 12, and so on. Every term after the first is obtained by adding 3 to the number preceding it. 0 plus 3 is 3, 3 plus 3 is 6, 6 plus 3 is 9, 9 plus 3 is 12, or multiples of 3. 3 times 1 is 3, 3 times 2 is 6, 3 times 3 is 9, 3 times 4 is 12. So the rule for the sequence 3, 6, 9, 12 is 3 times n, or 3n. n is the number of terms. So change the value of n into 1, 2, 3, or 4, or the first, second, third, and fourth term. So 3 times 1 is 3, 3 times 2 is 6, 3 times 3 is 9, 3 times 4 is 12. Now let's get the next three terms. We are going to change the value of n into 5, 6, and 7 for the next three terms. 3 times 5 is 15. 3 times 6 is 18, 3 times 7 is 21. So the next three terms are 15, 18, 21. Another example, sequence 1, 4, 9, 16, and so on. Multiply the counting numbers by itself or squaring counting numbers. 1 times 1 is 1, 2 times 2 is 4, 3 times 3 is 9, and so on. Rule n squared n is the number of term. Let's change the value of n into 1, 2, 3, and 4, or first, second, third, and fourth term. 1 squared is 1, 2 squared is 4, 3 squared is 9, 4 squared is 16. Next is to get the next three terms. So we're going to change the value of n into 5, 6, and 7. 5 squared is 25, 6 squared is 36, 7 squared is 49. So the next three terms are 25, 36, 49. Another example, sequence 1 half, 1 third, one fourth, and so on. The numerator in this sequence is constant. The denominator is obtained by adding one after the other. One over one plus one is equal to one half. One over one plus two is equal to one third. One over one plus three is equal to one fourth. Rule: one over n plus one. N is the number of terms. To find the next three terms, change the value of n to 4, 5, and 6. 1 over 4 plus 1 is equal to 1 fifth. 1 over 5 plus 1 is equal to 1 sixth. 1 over 6 plus 1 is equal to 1 over 7. So the next three terms are 1 fifth, 1 sixth, 1 seventh. Another example, sequence 2, 5, 8, 11, and so on. Working backwards, you will notice a pattern that subtracts 3 to get the next term on the left. Now, think of a way on how you will get each term having a common difference of 3. Rule, 3 times n minus 1 or 3n minus 1. Remember that n is the number of term. Change the value of n to first, second, third, and fourth term. 3 times 1 minus 1 is 2. 3 times 2 minus 1 is 5. 3 times 3 minus 1 is 8. And 3 times 4 minus 1 is 11. Now, get the next three terms. 
change the value of n into 5, 6, and 7. 3 times 5 is 15, minus 1 is 14. 3 times 6 is 18, minus 1 is 17. 3 times 7 is 21, minus 1 is 20. So the next three terms for the sequence 2, 5, 8, 11 is 14, 17, and 20. Look for a pattern, then write the next three terms. Let's practice. Sarah saved 100 pesos in March, 200 pesos in April, 300 pesos in May, and so on until December. How much did Sarah save for 10 months? The rule is 100N or 100 times N. Next is to get the sum of the terms. Sarah saved 5,500 for 10 months. Always remember, add love, subtract hate, multiply success, prepare to divide, and conquer. Enjoy math, enjoy life! God bless and stay safe. See you on my next video. Bye!